And I know you're feeling the same frustrations I am. And had a moment of celebration when Glenn Youngkin won and said, I'm going to sign an executive order and then did so. And you had that feeling that I continue to wait to have where they can just go with their beautiful faces exposed and see their friends' beautiful faces and have a normal day at school without all the issues that come attached to these protocols. And you sent your boy and what happened? Yeah. Um, there's so much to say. Um, you're exactly right. I mean, when he, when governor Youngkin came out with the executive order on last week, I cried and, um, my husband and my son both embraced me and my, my son was so excited. Um, we've been battling this since the beginning of the year for first, we asked for a religious exemption that was denied. Then we asked for a medical exemption, um, of which we really didn't feel like we, uh, legally needed to, um, but we were trying to go about the proper channels, uh, that was also denied. Um, my son's been having dizziness, headaches. He nearly blacked out in class one day. Um, he began to have nosebleeds right before Christmas break. Um, and his overall demeanor has been with school just, I mean, I, I hesitate to say it, but depressed. It's been a really, really rough year. And it's such a travesty because we love our school. We have been there since kindergarten. We actually, we have a special exemption right now to go there that they have now threatened to revoke because we want him to finish with his peers to laugh and play exactly like you were talking about. So when we showed up yesterday morning, along with another group of, um, uh, moms, dads, and kids to walk in. We were strong armed at the door and told immediately to go to the library. We had asked several questions to which no one gave us answers. Long story short, our principal said he would be with us after announcements, then made us wait outside in the freezing cold for an, over an hour with our kids waiting to go to their classrooms. We asked why they were not being allowed to go to their classroom. I handed yet another letter of my religious exemption that I didn't really need because the governor uh, said that we had our parental rights restored as they should be. Um, and he took it and, and pretty much didn't respond to it at all and just continued to quote what he says is policy. It's not policy. It's a mandate by the superintendent. Um, that's unlawful by the way. And, uh, I would just encourage any teacher. I know you're out there. We see you, we hear you. There are ones that I'm talking to. If you are feeling threatened by administration, you need to go to HR. You need to tell them that you are working in a hostile work environment and that they are forcing you to do things that are unlawful. I know, unfortunately, right now that you are stuck in between a rock and a hard place in a lot of ways, and you can't talk to some of your colleagues because they have drunk the Kool-Aid, they're, they're experiencing hypoxemia because they've got 18 masks on and they're upset, as they should be. They can't breathe. But you've got to start making your voice heard, or this is not going, going to change. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're right. My son was in, he was forced to go in the principal's office to which he closed the door with my son in there alone. Highly inappropriate. I already have, um, you know, I, I'm not going to get into that. That's getting into some things that are too personal at this point. Um, but the point of the matter is we are having a rally tonight of a rally for our rights at the school board meeting in Loudoun County. And I encourage anyone who's listening right now, if you are in the area and you want to fight for the, the rights of our, uh, the parents to, to be the ones who decide what is right for their child. And you're right, Megan. I mean, you had so many good things to say in your monologue, like personal choice, right? The party that cries, my body, my choice, my choice, my choice, where is choice now? And I understand, and I am not being flippant at all about the severity for some people, but all the actual science and statistic statistics out there show us that cloth masks, which is what these children are wearing, do not do squat. It's like trying to catch mosquitoes with a chain link fence. It doesn't work. It shows that all of the um, statistics we're seeing now with tests on these kids for after two years, kids born in the last two years have a lower IQ already. All of this stuff is happening and it's a, been a political war in a lot of ways. Listen, I'm a mom. I love to be at my house. I like to clean it. I like to cook and provide and have people in it. I like to take my son to his baseball practices and I like to do lead a, a quiet life. But I have been forced to take the reins in a lot of ways because 
we've got to stand up. And if we don't stand up, then it's not going to change. So Megan, you're right. Plead with people, get involved, get involved. You have to. It's past time. When I I was speaking with these moms, I felt so inspired by them because none of them was particularly active. You know, I mean, a couple of them really wanted Joe Biden elected and had worked to get him elected. But, you know, they weren't the ones calling up the school board or going to the meetings or calling the principal or writing letters. And so they weren't. But that what our kids have been through over the past two years is bad enough. And there are no off ramps provided that have raised our level of concern high enough that we realize now no one's fighting for them. No one's fighting for them. And I am sick and tired of people like Whoopi Goldberg trying to shame people who stand up to say something, to say that balancing test is now leaning the other way. That doesn't mean we don't give a damn about the people dying from COVID, but it's still a balancing test. And we have other yes. little people whose fortunes literally depend on us. You know, we Absolutely. they have no one advocating for them. There, There's no one. Glenn Youngkin tried and your school board is overruling him.